we are at Gardenville.tv in late April and we're out in somebody's garden where they've some nice plants coming into flower which is just showing us that there is life out there <laughs> after that terrible winter. So Susan, what are we looking at we're here? We're looking here, Catherine, at what's commonly known as a perennial candy tuft, Iberus. Now, believe it or not, this is actually a, a member of the same family as cabbages and cauliflower and things. Really? It's a brassica. If you... Um, well, I can't show you, I can't divide up these flowers enough for you to see, but anyway, it is, it's a member of the Isn't Brassica that amazing? family. But it's a lovely little thing, grows to, I suppose, what's this, nine inches to a foot, which is about 25, 30 centimetres. And it flowers in the spring into the early summer. It's not fussy about soil, it will put up with drought, it likes sun, that's the one thing. But right. It will put up with a certain amount of dryness. And um, it's a lovely bright patch of something for the for this time of the year. Can I say something? I remember growing up with um, this plant. Um, is, is it an old-fashioned sort of It's a of very old-fashioned plant, yes. It's been around for a very long, yeah, long time. Yeah, just that feeling about it. I mean, you sort of, it's almost one of those childhood garden things, candy yeah, tuft. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly. So you would plant it with something? Well, then? you can, or you can have it in a rockery, you could have it on a, on a raised bed where it won't fall over the edge Oh, slightly. which would be very yeah. nice. But yeah. edgy, somewhere where it's like here, it's on the edge of paving. Yeah. And it's planted here with the blue centauria. Now, this is a blue centauria, which looks like a nice combination it's with the nice two. It's a nice combination of the two, yes. Yeah, yeah. and it's I'm done in a corner of a bed here, well, it which is, is attractive. Well, it is, the centauria is that bit higher, and yeah. this candy tuft is flowering and covering up the base of the, the plant here. So you're getting a tiered effect to the planting. You buy this in pot form, I presume? You buy it in pot form, or you can grow it from seed. You can buy seed as well. Right, okay. But for a lot of us, you just go out well, and you pick just it up in your buy nursery. It. Yeah, you pick it up and in your nursery. Um, so just would for, for for coverage like that would one plant be enough or um, would you need to do a couple? I would think if you were starting off and you wanted to get a reasonable effect Cover. fairly quickly you'd get two or three plants. Yeah. Right, okay. Well, this may well be only one be one plant originally which is which but is spread. spread out yeah. over time. Mm. Could that be divided later on? Um, I think the best thing to do is probably to take cuttings off this. Um, oops. We're going to take that cutting, are we? Well, now? I don't know now whether I think will that's one way of doing us? it would be soft with cuttings. So we'll see. Take the very soft tip out. It may be a bit early in the year for doing that. Strip the bottom leaves off. Yeah. And then just slightly trim. I've taken it with what's known as a peel, which I've peeled it down. Now, would we thing. put a bit of root growth stuff on that? You would put a bit of root growth, a root and hormone put it into a pot. powder. And put in a pot of coarse oh, sand and. That's a definite peel. project. So yeah. whether it'll root at Let's this time of the year bash. or not, but we can give it a bash. Yeah, exactly. exactly. And if you've any nice photographs of your own uh, plants that you'd like to send to us at Gardenville.tv, we'd love to hear from you. Do join our Facebook, our blog, our Twitter. and um, That's what we're about. We're about community gardening. We want everybody involved. So come and join us and give us ideas.